Hi everyone, I'm Julie. Welcome to Big Sky Beauty. It has been an insane week. I don't know how your guys has been, but I hope that it's been half as good and not as busy as mine. Uh, my youngest daughter is shipping off to Portland, Oregon for a uh, spring semester at La Cordon Bleu and the last month really, but the last week has been insane. I, um, She leaves like at 5 o'clock Monday morning and I'm just tore up inside that I can't take her. Um, it, circumstances prevent us mainly because of the grandson, um, but I am going down there in a couple weeks with the car. I'm going to take all of her stuff down to her so you know she has it all in her apartment and stuff. So the the campus that she is going to be in is just it looks like like a freaking retirement community. Well, I'm not going to get into that, but it, I'm just it's been a crazy week and I'm so excited and I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of you, Jasmine Sage. Okay, so let me get started because I got quite a bit of stuff. Um, and I showed this in an Instagram, I believe, but, um, oh, it was a couple weeks ago, Mally, the cosmetic company Mally, had a, um, giveaway for 100 Malinistas on Facebook, you know, or something like that, and I, I joined the contest, you know, like I do with all of my cosmetic companies that I love so much, and she sent, apparently she sent everybody a thank you, and I got this nice little card from her. Um, I'm not going to read what it says because it's just too long. Or, you know, it's a it's a mass-produced card. It wasn't directly, you know, but um, basically it just says, um, thank you for participating in the giveaway. Thank you for all your love and support. God bless Mally. But I got a little five-pack, a little mini five-pack of her Starlight Eyeliners. And I actually have these all in full size. I love, love these eyeliners. Um, they're really, besides NYX, they're the almost the only ones that I use. Um, there comes with a purple one, a black, silver, a green, it's kind of a teal green, an oceany color, and then a brown. So all your basics, plus, you know, a couple pops with the purple and the teal. Super, super cool, Mally. I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, just for participating in this giveaway, did she send this out to how many people? I mean, when was the last time any, any cosmetic company that you joined a, a giveaway, which I do it all the time, I think a lot of people do, um, when was the last time that they sent you a thank you for, you know, signing up on our giveaway? Who does that? Mally, that's who. Very cool. Very cool PR. Okay. Um, I found down at Ross a while back, and I'm not sure if I showed you guys these or not, but I think I was going to do some kind of a review, but I don't even, they don't even have a name, and I've been back several times looking for more, and there's no more. They just seem to be gone. I tried to look up the company online, and they are nowhere to be found, so these were just some weird off-brand name brushes that look very much like real techniques. <laughs> I bet you wouldn't know, would you? Um, that, well, you might know. There's a little bit of difference. This is Mally's face, or, um, I'm sorry, Real Techniques face buffer. And I don't think this is meant to be a buffer. This is, uh, just a powder blush, you know, a blush brush. But, uh, yeah, can you tell which one's Real Techniques? Mm, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right now. Um, this one is some kind of weird off-brand, off-name that I got down at Ross a while back. Um, this one is the Real Techniques. Loving it. They are exactly, the, um, I think the Real Techniques is a little bit bigger in uh, circumference. Maybe. that It might just be my eyeballs. I'm not sure. But, uh, and plus the Real Techniques are made a little bit better. They, they are. They're, they got a little bit better make to them. But, I don't care. These are fantastic brushes and I'm loving them. And I already have all the Real Techniques. I literally have every brush that they make. So far, I have them all, and multiples of many. But I'm really liking these. They only cost me like $4 for three brushes. And this set came like, okay, oh, there we go. Um, these three, these two here, and this is just like a small contour, um, you know, maybe a blush brush, and this is like an all-outer, all-over face brush, and then this little bitty liner. Um, just like Real Techniques, you guys. Matter of fact, I have... This one here is Real Techniques, and this one is the weird little off-brand. Yep, um, you almost can't tell the difference. Almost. Real Techniques is a little firmer, a little bit longer, um, and, a, and honestly a little better quality. And all, I mean, you know what? It's, a, it's an eyeliner. How, how good does it need to be? <laughs> very good, very good 
Couldn't be happier with these brushes. Super excited. And I keep stopping in Ross like every few days trying to find more because because I really love them. I also got this set. Um, and another another one of those liners. I swear I must have two dozen of these dang things. But I love this one. And of the, um, where's it at? Ah, it's going to get dug. Okay, there. There is the um, Real Techniques one. And here is the uh, little cheesy one that I got. I mean, honestly, can you tell the difference in those? You can't. <laughs> uh, Real Techniques is a little firmer and a little uh, plumper, I guess you could say. But basically, they're the same brush. That's that little small, little narrow shading brush that they have. You can see how Real Techniques is a little bit plumper. Has a has a little bit, um, you know, better cut on it. This one just kind of chopped off. But they both do the exact same job, to be honest with you. Um, love them both. And then this one here, and as you will see, Real Techniques. This is my Real Techniques. And this is the Ross brand. I'm just calling it Ross brand because it didn't have a name or any kind. So, yep, that's it. You can see the Real Techniques is a little bit plumper at the bottom. I, you can't really see it that way, but... Um, yeah, and I love, love, love this brush. I have got probably five of these, and I use it for uh, contouring right here, here on my nose, perfect for on my nose. Love these brushes. I I must clean these like every couple days because I get them so dirty with cream contour. <laughs> anyway, so I've been really happy about that. Um, you know, keep your eyes open at Ross and TJ Maxx because they have them all, well... I can't say often because I've been back several times looking for them. I can't find them anywhere. Okay, um, I got all of these on Amazon for $10. Okay, they are all lip liners from NYX. Look at those. Look at those bad boys, you guys. Look at all those lip liners I got for $10 on Amazon from a gal, or I think it's a woman. It kind of sounds like a woman. Um, the name is Tracy, so you can never really tell. But it's it's just called Tracy's Cosmetics, is all it is. And these are authentic NYX, because I have a whole bunch of NYX um, lip liners, and, you know, they're NYX. A ten lip liners, brand new, steel sealed, for ten dollars. Is that crazy? Eight, did I say eight or ten? <laughs> I'm stuck on the ten dollar thing, but eight lip liners for ten dollars. I've been loving them. I mean, I just, I, I couldn't be more happy about that. So I will put a link down below of this person on Amazon. And I will give you guys a link where, and she's got a whole bunch of stuff too. She's got a whole bunch of, uh, she had three or four, when I ordered mine, she had three or four available of the 10 NYX lip liners, or 8 NYX lip liners for $10. And then she had the eyeliners and a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know if these are discontinued colors or what, but I've been using the crap out of them. Very cool. Love finding scores like that. Okay, um, masks, you guys. Everybody got some masks. Dollar Store. Well, not this one. This one I got at TJ Maxx. It is an eye mask, and I will wear this tonight, so I'll go ahead and open it for you. This is called Earth Therapeutics Hydrogel Under Eye Recovery Patch. Um, it is antioxidant skin defect, um, skin defects. <laughs> skin defense may help reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles. Um, I've noticed a difference with these. I put them on before I go to bed and I wear them all night. Now, most eye masks, most, I find are moist, but these ones aren't. These are like dry. And they are gel, so you got to peel the little back off of them. And then you got, well, that's not it. <laughs> and then you stick that part on your eye. I have really been liking these. Now, I've seen them, at, like I said, at TJ Maxx and... Um, Oh, what did I pay for them? I think I paid $2.99 for a pack of four, a box of four of them. And I tried them for a couple nights and liked them so much, I went down and bought all they had left on the shelf, which was only three or four boxes. But very good. Do you guys see these at your TJ Maxx? Again, they're called Earth Therapeutics. Um, pick them up because they are very good under eye mask. Okay, and then these are from the dollar store. Cost a buck a piece, which actually isn't the best price for a cheap mask, but pretty good price. Um, and I didn't expect much from this. This one's the Anti-Aging Grape Seed Facial Mask. Skin from a company called Skin Benefits. Says you only leave it on 15 minutes. I leave all of these masks on until they just dry up and fall off my face. <laughs> I do. And I usually use um, Dr. Gross's, uh, Dennis Gross's steamer with them too. But I really like this mask. Dollar Store, they got loads and loads. And our dollar store here is called the Dollar Tree. 
They got loads and loads of these. They smell like grape, which I really like. And I noticed that I have wonderful moisturizing. You know, I can't really say that. I'm not noticing, you know, myself getting younger or anything. But as far as moisturizing, they do the trick. Um, when I put my nighttime moisturizer on uh, top of these, my face does not absorb it. So when I use this mask, I do not put any moisturizer on when I'm done. And I can't say that about a lot of my higher-end masks. So... Um, I've been going down and scooping up these like by, you know, $20 worth, which is 20 masks, of course. Um, you know, like pretty much every time I go in there, <laughs> I've got a bunch of these masks. Okay, and then the Biomiracle. Now, I buy these off of Amazon, and the ones I get are the collagen. I don't even think I have any left. Um, I've got, I get the collagen ones, and then I get the Q, what is it, the Q10. And they're like, um, you know, they're... I don't know, 10 bucks for eight masks or something like that. Or you can get um, our Sally Beauty Supply carries the Bio Miracle masks down at Sally for um, I think it's like $16.99 for four masks. Okay, and that's with my club card. They got these at the dollar store for a buck a piece. Now the, the I've I got I think like five or six of them. And that it was all that was on the shelf, and I got them all. Um, one out of the lot that I got was dry. There was nothing in it. It was just dry. I mean, the thing was in there, but the mask was in there, but there wasn't nothing on it. Um, I dumped a little bit of aloe vera in there, let it um, absorb and get nice and soaked again, and then I wore it anyway. So, But, um, yeah, these are really, really good masks, and for some reason, our Dollar Tree has been carrying them. So um, if you have a Dollar Tree in your area, um, head back to the, you know, back to the bath and stuff back there and see if they have the Bio Miracle Rose Collagen Essence Masks. You know, you all know rose is very, very good for the skin. It is a main ingredient in anti-aging, you know, as far as essential oils. Rose is a really good one. So um, head down to your Dollar Tree and if you see these masks here or that one there or that one there, pick you up some because they are really good masks or I wouldn't be telling you they were. Okay, and then my daughter got this for me, and I was so incredibly touched that I had to show you guys. It is called the Friendly Advice. <laughs> um, she got it, I think, at a, a yard sale or something, but it's the Friendly Advice book compiled and edited by John Winokur. And it's just, it's great. It's a great book, you guys. Um, author of The Portable Commudgeon. I don't know if you guys have read that. Um, I didn't, I couldn't get all the way through it. So my dad loved the book, though. But this is just great. It's got, like, all of those little sayings that you heard growing up, and now you hear yourself saying them, and you're like, oh, my God, I'm turning into my mom or dad. Well, this, every, all of it is in this book. So if you have, um, you know, if you go to the library a lot, or if you have any kind of a book exchange, or, um, anything like that around you, go in there and ask them if they have the Friendly Advice by John Winokur. It is a really, really good book, and I've really been enjoying reading this. Okay, and then my final uh, smiley for the day are the last two sleek palettes that I got in, and I don't know how the heck I missed the Oh So Sweet palette, because when I first discovered sleek, I ordered all the palettes. They were having a big sale, and it was like $7.99 for, per palette, so I ordered them all. I got the entire collection. Um, and I missed the Oh So Sweet, apparently, unless it's a new one, because I surely would have saw and got this. It is so beautiful, you guys. And, of course, the quality is there, just like we know and love from Sleek. This is called the Oh So Sweet palette. And if you guys would like me to do just a really quick, um, you know, a really quick five-minute video showing you the swatches of these two palettes I'm going to show you, then give me a thumbs up and let me know, and I will do that. I mean, I won't go into any kind of detail. I'll just show you swatches and finishes on each shadow so that you can see how it is, okay? And then I got the newest one that they just came out with, and it is in the garden, I believe? Garden of Eden. And I cannot tell you how happy I am with this. Look at that, greens and purples. How much better does it get for a green-eyed girl? Right? Gorgeous. Two of my favorite colors to wear, greens and purples. I am so excited about this. And let me show you. I am so excited about the sleep palettes, which I love. Um, this is the only one that I have out right now. I wasn't going to tell you about this right now, but I have a special giveaway coming up. Then the next one is going to be a sleep giveaway. Watch for that coming up. Watch for that video coming up. Um, 
yeah, been really, really, really loving these palettes. I am so happy. If you guys want to see swatches in a short, little clippy video, let me know. Okay, I do have some crappers this week, so let me hurry. Um, the jewelry cleaner that I use, jewelry cleaner that I use, I get from Walmart, and it is just the most toxic, nastiest stuff ever. Um, you see it over in the jewelry section, you know, and they have the little gray jars and the red jars. The red's supposed to be for gold and the gray's for silver. Well, I've got the gray one for all my sterling silver. That stuff is so toxic. I mean, the smell of it is like raw sewage. Now, granted, it works like that. I mean, I can put something that is so tarnished, you know, that it's got that yucky penny smell, and it just, poof, it's brand new again. I love it. But the last time I went in to get some, I got to thinking, man, that stuff is really bad. And it's just, it says it causes cancer on the jar, and I got a little boy in the house now. So... QVC, I saw that I was watching one of their shows a while back, and I saw that they had this all-natural, biodegradable, um, you know, perfectly harmless jewelry cleaner. And they had all the, you know, all this tarnished jewelry on there, and they were showing it all, and yeah, blah, blah, blah. So I ordered, it's called Lux, and it's foam fusion, gold, silver, platinum, diamonds, opals, pearls. Supposedly you can use this for everything. And with that stuff that I was getting from Walmart, you can only use it on sterling silver. You're not supposed to put any gems or anything like that in there. So I ordered it from QVC. I don't know how what the heck they were doing in the, you know, commercial or the uh, the, the part that they did when they showed it because this stuff does not clean nothing. And I leave it in there forever and you're only supposed to leave it in for like 10 minutes and I leave it in there for over a friggin' night and it doesn't take the tarnish off my silver. So, if somebody from TV, QVC or Lux Corporation wants to get a hold of me, or is it Lux Corporation? It is, uh, yeah, Lux Enterprises from Morro Bay, California. So you want to get a hold of me and tell me how to use this stuff because I'm doing everything that the directions say and it does not touch the tarnish on my jewelry at all. So, yuck. I'm really disappointed in this, i got to say. Okay, now I have seen Emily Noel talk about these and while the color pigmentation is definitely there and I am happy about that, and these are the two Rimmel HDIs, um, they're not even a, one, two, three, yeah, they are a quad. There's four of them in there. There's four colors in there. But the only thing that these are, the only reason why these are a crapper, because the, the pigmentation is there, okay? The pigmentation's there. Um, they're beautiful shadows. But come on, Rimmel, look at those. How am I supposed to do anything with those little bitty strips? The only brush that I'm ever going to be able to fit in those are these little bitty eyeliner brushes. I mean, look at how small those are. They're even wider than eyeliner brushes. Look at that. I mean, I love the whole idea of having, you know, like the British flag or whatever, but come on. You could have made it a little bit bigger than that. Especially for us old gals are going blind, man. I'm like down here with my microscope going, oh, you know. Send one of those little um, disposable magnifying glasses in it like my grandson gets in the big lookbooks he has. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so so that is all I got, you guys. I hope that I showed you some things that are good today. I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ghoulie. I can't believe I said Ghoulie. Hi, everyone. I'm Ghoulie. I... Ghoulie? Ghoulie? <laughs> <laughs> I got it.